I thought my astrology shirt would be kind of fitting for this video today. Hi friends, my name is Jess and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Books Fast Bedtime. Today I have a very exciting announcement for you because me and three of my bookish friends are announcing a readathon. In the month of July, me, Noelle from Noelle 7 Pages, Brittany from Literarily Smitten, I cannot say that word. It basically like literally and literature smashed together, literal, literally, literarily smitten. And Deja from Deja's Book World are hosting the Tarot Readathon where you can find out what the universe wants you to read. So this readathon, as I mentioned, will take place in July. It starts on July 1st with the new moon and it ends on July 24th with the full moon. So first things first, I'm going to run down the basics. This is a tarot card readathon. So you are going to pick your TBR with a tarot deck. Now you can use a tarot deck you already own or there are online tarot card spread generators that you are more than welcome to use. We don't want to exclude anyone from this readathon, obviously, even if you aren't interested in tarot already. We definitely want you to participate and learn more about tarot. It's a fun thing. It's really like cathartic, relaxing, therapeutic activity. So definitely would recommend it to honestly everyone. And this is a fun place to start if you're not that into it. But yeah, you can basically make a spread of as few or as many cards as you would like to in order to pick your TBR. There's no like number of challenges you need to complete in order to participate or be a part of a team. You can basically do whatever you want. And and each card in the spread is going to have a unique prompt. I'm not going to go through all of the prompts because there are tons of cards in the tarot card deck and we would be here forever, but there is a lovely Google Doc down below that Noelle put together that lists out all the prompts so you can make your tarot TBR with ease. There are two ways you can make your TBR. You can do a spread all at once and pick cards for each prompt, or you can kind of do one at a time. You can draw one card, read a book for that prompt, put it aside, draw another one. Either way works. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you're feeling. There is a rule though, no doubling up on prompts. It's like one card, one prompt, one book kind of deal um, just for like the way the points work and also because you can choose how many prompts you want to tackle. It's not like there's a set number of prompts or like a bingo board or anything. You can just read one if you want to and be done with it. <laughs> or you can read, I don't know, 14 if you want to read a book a day, whatever works for you. Now this is a points-based readathon as well as a team-based readathon. So let me explain the point system first before I go into the teams because some of the things with the teams have to do with the points. So <laughs> there are going to be two different trophies for this readathon. The first is the Major Arcana Trophy, which is going to be a pretty straightforward point system. So if you have a tarot deck or are familiar with it at all, you will know that the tarot cards are numbered, both the Major Arcana and the suits are numbered. So basically whatever card you pull, whatever number is on it, um, will be the number of points you get for completing that prompt. All the numbers on the Major Arcana cards are the number of points you get for completing that prompt. Um, the suit cards, aces one, two is two, three is three, etc, etc. Um, the only cards that don't have numbers are the suit cards, um, the queen and the king, you know, they're all worth 10 points. So that is the major arcana trophy. And then to add a little bit of fun, we're also going to do be doing a minor arcana trophy. And this is going to be page count based. So of the books that you read during the readathon, you get points for the prompt that that book completes as well as submitting the number of pages of that book that you read. So at the end of the readathon, we will award the major arcana trophy to the team with the most major arcana points and then the minor arcana trophy will go to the team that read the most pages throughout the readathon so these can obviously go to two different teams they might go to the same team um both point systems will be weighted by the number of members on each team um using math <laughs> that I'm not going to be doing, but that somebody else or the computer will be doing. So it's not like, don't worry about joining whichever team because that's going to be taken care of. That's not an issue. Now let's jump into the teams. Each team is themed around the suits of cards in the tarot deck. So as you may or may not know, there are four suits within the tarot deck, um, excluding the major arcana. So each of those four suits is each of the four teams, each hosted by a different co-host of the readathon. And you can either pick the team of the, like the suit that resonates with you the most. You can also pick based on the upright and reversed challenges for each team. So each team basically has an upright or like cheat card kind of positive to joining that team, as well as a reversed or a negative kind of challenge aspect to joining that team. So you can pick whichever one of those like suits you best. If you can't decide, you could use your tarot deck to pick which team that you would like to join. Um, you can pull a random card in whichever suit you pull first. You can join that team. So there's a number of different ways you can join the team. It doesn't really matter. Starting off with me, I am the host of Team Wands. Basically the core values of my team, of my suit, fire, energy, passion, success, which makes sense because I'm a fire sign. I'm a Leo. So... <laughs> 
Now, if you join my team, our upright is that we can add books to our TBR that we have already started prior to the readathon. We don't have to pick like a fresh book and start from the start. We can add books that we have already started up to about like 50%. This is self-monitored, obviously. You can do whatever you want, but that's kind of the gist. We don't want you to like read 299 pages of a book and then read the 300th page during the readathon and like that counts, but you know, whatever. <laughs> We're trusting you to self-monitor yourself. But then on the flip side, our reversed is that if you include more than one book that you've already started on your TBR, the second, third, fourth book, fifth book, etc., the pages that you read of that book during the readathon are the only ones that count towards the minor arcana trophy. And then on the flip side, the value of the prompt only counts for half for the major arcana trophy. So you can have one book that like you count all the pages, full points, all of that that you've already started prior to the readathon, but every book after that first one counts for half points and only the pages you've read during the readathon, if that makes sense. I that's a little like complicated and convoluted, but like if you have a question, just ask me. <laughs> Next, the Suit of Cups is hosted by Deja from Deja's Book World. The core traits and values of this team include water, emotions, relationships, intuition, and creativity. Deja's team's upright is that you can modify or come up with a different prompt to fit one of the cards that you draw um, with the expectation that it kind of is still in line with the meaning of the card and the energy behind it. It can relate to the colors, the meaning, the actual imagery, whatever works for you, but that is Deja's team's upright. Then Deja's team's reverse is that once you create your TBR, you can't swap out books. So if you DNF a book on your TBR, the prompt for that book just won't be completed, the points won't be counted, etc, etc. You can't like start a book, be like, I don't like this, and then swap it out for a different book. Your TBR has to stay static. The Suit of Swords team is hosted by Brittany from Literarily Smitten. The core traits and values of this team are air, logic, intellect, protection, decisiveness, and clarity. And the Swords Team Upright is that at one time during the readathon, you can use one book to fit two prompts. So in general, like I mentioned earlier, there's no doubling up of prompts, but if you're on Swords, you can use one book to count for two prompts. And the number of pages for that book that you're double counting will also count for double pages for the Minor Arcana Trophy. So pretty good upright, honestly. <laughs> but then on the other hand, the Swords Team Reverse, a book for one of your prompts must be chosen randomly, whether that's like a spinner wheel or you call up a friend and have them recommend a book for you, or you pick it out of a jar, whatever, it has to be chosen randomly and you have to stick with that random choice. Then the of Pentacles is hosted by Noelle from Noelle Seven Pages. The core traits of the Pentacles, we love our earth signs over here, <laughs> earth, peace, groundedness, nature, wealth, and growth. And the upright for Team Pentacles is that books longer than 400 pages count for an extra 100 points in the minor arcana trophy and an extra two points in the major arcana trophy. Then on the other hand, Pentacles Team Reversed is that your TBR must consist of only books you already own, so books that are on your shelves. Um, you can use the library if you must, if you like don't own a lot of books, but there's no buying new books to put on your TBR. Now, how do you participate? We do have a Discord for this readathon. We're just going to have like a pop in Discord. We don't have any other social media because it's a lot of work. <laughs> but the Discord is going to be a lot of fun and really cool. So I definitely would recommend joining that. That's where most like announcements and things will be taking place. We're also going to be having reading sprints. Most likely there will be at least one on everybody's channel that is a host of this readathon. So definitely check those out. It'll be a lot of fun. Might do some fun activities or like witchy tarot card woo woo things. It'll be a lot of fun. And like I mentioned, there is a Google Doc down below with all the rules, goes, walks you through step by step everything. If you're like a little bit confused or have questions, feel free to reach out to any of us. Um, there's also the Google form link to submit points in that Google Doc. So like literally everything you need is down there. Um, I'm also going to be making some fun templates for like TBRs, things to post on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I haven't done that yet, so they're not in there yet, but hopefully they will be by the time this video goes up. So, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys decide to participate. I think this is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited for it and I hope you guys are too. So hope to see you in July. Also make sure to check out and subscribe to all my co-hosts down below. Subscribe to me if you would like, if you're not already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I also always have links down below for fun things like free audible trials, free script trials, a free book of the month trials, or discounted book of the month trials, I should say, because they're not free. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you being here and I hope you decide to join the tarot card readathon. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.